Hello everyone. Well, I hope you're having a great day. Um, we're having another rainy day, but you know, that's how it is. Um, I just come on because I wanted to do a share. Uh, I have been watching a couple of videos of um, people making these lollipop, what's what they call lollipop, um, um, rosettes. So I just thought they were so cute, so I thought, well, I was going to try and um, make one. And um, normally I notice that most people do them with double-sided paper. But here's the thing. Double-sided paper is not a lot in my stash. <laughs> um, I have a lot of paper that I would like to use up, and it's all single-sided. So I thought, you know what? Um, I think the back of the white is just going to be as pretty as the front, so it really doesn't matter. Um, how often are you going to look at the back of your lollipop anyway? So, um, I want to show you. So, this first one that I did, um, I used um, just some paper that I have in my stash. I'm not really sure what the paper line is. Um, and then I had watched um, Scrimpin' Mama and... Um, she um, was making some um, of these, and um, she showed where she took um, doilies, and she kind of she she folded them like um, we do when we make some of these flowers, because like she said, she used to make shabby chic flowers, and so did I, and this is how we folded them, kind of like into a, you know, folded them over, you cut them in half, and then fold them over. If somebody would like to see it, um, I'm going to leave a link to her channel because that's really where I got the inspiration for making these. Um, and so um, it kind of gives it more of an uplift. And um, these little doilies here, gosh, you know, I don't know where I got them. Um, they weren't in a package, so I don't know the brand, but I've had them for a couple of years, and there was like different sizes and different shapes. There was hearts and, you know, different ones. And so um, I decided to use one of those right there. I did use some light green and white um, uh, doilies. Um, the ribbon I used is from... Um, uh, an old Stamps of Life kit that um, I had um, the stuff left over from. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to put a bow here. Um, I just didn't yet, and I was so excited I wanted to show them, so you know how it is. <laughs> um, but um, I'll probably put a bow on it. Um, and then I just used um, a um, polka-dotted uh, straw from... Um, uh, this one I got at Walmart. And then I just put a little circle on the back of that one. This next one is, the colors are kind of a, a green and um, a mint. Um, the only thing I found um, I was disappointed in is the fact that by using the doilies that I have in my stash, which she used quite large ones too, um, it covered up the paper, the beautiful pattern paper that was behind. Um, so I don't know. I, I love the idea because I really think it makes it look a lot more shabby chic. Um, but anyway, so um, again, this was single-sided paper. And then um, I did a smaller um, rosette to go in the middle. My hands are cramping. My little thumb was cramping from all the, you know, scoring and then folding the paper. I think I got a, I got a, I got an idea though on how to punch these things together. I think, I think it might work. Um, keep my fingers from cramping. But um, anyway, so that's what I did. And then I put a doily type. Um, 
a die cut here that's got some um, stitching around it. And then on the back, I just put um, a nice uh, doily uh, to cover up the back. And again, I used um, the same straw, and I just used some ribbon and some um, uh, seam binding that I had in my stash. And I also will probably put a bow on this before I give it to anybody. But um, I hope you like them. I really had so much fun making them. They are a little time consuming, I found, at least for me, um, because my hands will cramp up and then I'll have to stop and, you know. Um, but oh my gosh, how much fun. These are so, so fun to make. I wish I had a, um, a um, rosette die that was this big. Or, you know, it would make a big one like this. Um, I did show um, a die set that I had gotten um, a while back from a Tim Holtz one. And um, it has two different uh, rosettes on it. They're small ones. And um, I was going to send it back, but um, I'm going to try it again later on. Um, when I cut it out, everything, all the sides... The side split, you know, so it, you couldn't do anything with it. So anyway, so um, this is my um, my lollipops, but that's not the big surprise. Here is my very first um, friendship umbrella. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? I love it! Oh my gosh, I had so much fun making this. This was a total, total blast. I will be making many, many more of these. This is like my dream. You know I said I love to alter. <laughs> oh baby, can you alter? Oh, I have trims and goodies out the yin yang, as they would say to do this with so I am so excited about making more well I already have made another one but I'm not showing that one today so um, I used um, some paper from my stash it takes two 12 by 12 so um, I just lucked out and happened to have um, this was Prusa's Prima paper that was single sheets um, back in the day. I guess I say that back. I say that as if I'm that. I've been on YouTube forever. Um, but back in the day when I first joined, um, Prima and um, well, several of them, they did um, what they would call a uh, Mister Box, and um, you could get like two hundred dollars worth of merchandise for fifty bucks or less. And so um, I had purchased several from Prima. I purchased several from um, uh, I can't think of the other company, but um, I haven't seen them do that in a long, long time. I, I'm I'm guessing that they still might. I just have not myself purchased them. But anyway, so this paper came from from them because there was you know paper and other things. So, um, this is uh, my first friendship one. I used, uh, I said, Prima paper. Um, I'm still pulling off uh, gluey glues. Yes, gluey glues are, uh, there's a lot of gluey glue on this. Um, I used some ribbon um, that I had in my stash. And um, I put that on there, and then I found this fringe, and I was so excited. Um, a lot of the ones I've watched, and by the way, I'm not positive, but I think Donna Gonzalez is the one who created this, because I just kind of get that impression from uh, well, the videos I've watched, um, and hers, of course, are the ones I've watched both she has she has this this one here but she just came out and I just watched it last night she's just come out with version two because people were complaining and or well, not complaining but they were saying that you can't get much in these because they don't open up very wide but um, they're perfect for 
tags for, look at this, pop a little one of those in there too. Um, you know, um, you can fit quite a bit in these. It just depends on how you make them and how you, op how you open them up. And um, that's a trick in itself. Um, anyway, so I found this this fringe, and I only had like a yard of it, and I said, oh, I got to, I got to use that on there, um, because a lot, a lot of them, um, they put uh, it on the inside, so the lace is kind of fluffed up at the top, so you, it kind of covers this, but I didn't care, um, and then I put some of this dewdrop trim, and um, I used some black uh, roses that I had gotten in some winnings a long time ago. And I used some more of the, the trim down here, um, a little bit more of the lace, some black um, uh, see, or bat black uh, trim um, with sequins. And then for my base, I had some of these, oh my goodness, there's so many glue stick, glue, glue, gluey, gluey things. Um, I had these little glass, let me see if I can, let me see if I can show you. Um, well, they're, they're about this, they're this size, they're oval, and they're like a mirror. They're really pretty. Let me see if I can show you the inside of it at all. Um, I don't know, maybe. There, kind of like that. Anyway, I had these in my stash, and um, I had bought a package of them, and I was like, what am I going to do with those? And um, they do make a really good base, um, and it used to set up until I put this on. Now, this handle is made out of three... Um, pipe cleaners that I wound together and then I covered in the slice trim. Um, anyway, and I used a, um, on the front here, I used like a little angel cherub uh, thing that I had also won in uh, some winnings uh, uh, a while, uh, quite a while back. And then on this side, I just put two uh, roses and black roses and then a, that rose there. So, um, I just, like I said, oh my gosh, guys, these are so fun to make, but I, I may, I will tell you, they are not as easy as they look. They are as hard as they look, I think. Um, they, the trick to it is figure it out what works for you. Um, if you would like to know how I made mine, I would be happy to show you. I do not make them at all like uh, Donna shows um, as far as putting the, the two uh, parts together. Um, I totally do it different. Um, it worked much, much better for me. It was much, much faster, easier. Um, my first two, yes, I made two before this. They went in the trash. I just could not get it down to like figured out the way she did it. Um, maybe because I have no feeling in my right hand <laughs> and I don't have any strength in either hand. So it's kind of hard to hold these things together, um, you know, and, uh, you know, keep it uh, the way you, you, you should. Um, her new version, uh, you will see, has um, is exactly like this except it has an extension on either side so that it opens up and it no longer comes to a point like this it's much wider down here so you have to have a much wider base um, because this is not standing up like it did I'm probably going to put an additional mirror on the bottom I have some just plain round ones that I will probably use to um, give it a, bit, a much bigger base. But um, you can use so many different things. She uses all kinds of things. So anyway, um, I hope you like what you see. Um, like I said, I had a great time making it. I just, oh, I, I, I tell you, it, it's, they're just so exciting and so much fun. So thanks everyone for watching and um, give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, have a great night. Bye.